Well, hello, St. John's Red Wings. Uh, these are your daily announcements. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Welcome to St. John's Middle School. We've been piping this out to the high school uh, for the last week or so, and I've been talking with Miss Diorio in the last couple of days, and uh, so we got the middle school on board. So welcome. Congratulations. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, for those that are keeping track, today is Blur's Day. It's uh, Blur's Day, the 14th of Maple There you go. Sponsors for today. Pets, as always. Sponsors for the day today. <clears throat> the Zumba Queen herself. This is Mrs. Stevens with her dogs. Let's check the notes. We've got Misty May, I would assume, an homage to Misty May trainer, beach volleyball extraordinaire. Uh, and then Teddy and Nikki. These are Miss Stevens' little dogs. Uh, you may have seen one of them jumping up on her when she was showing us some Zumba moves uh, a little bit ago. Hopefully some of you guys were able to uh, stop out yesterday at lunchtime and uh, join her uh, Zumba uh, marathon thing at lunchtime tomorrow uh, or yesterday. Sorry. Masks. Uh, updates on masks, of course, those are always needed at the hospitals. Mrs. Finney at the bus garage, she's taking donations and supplies. I've been pushing those for a long time. And then uh, Mrs. Jaray at the middle school, she is heading up uh, Team Print Force. Uh, it's Portland High School, Ovid Elsie High School, St. John's Middle School. A lot of different people are working on printing stuff. Um, that's Coach Wade right there uh killer expression he's printing up some masks uh this is josh he's printing up some masks good job uh josh and then mr labar you can see uh, around his head there he's printing up some stuff um so they're working on some 3d printers and they can always use more filament they are printing like 24 7. Uh, so contact uh, Renee Jure. Uh, here's her email over here. And then Team Print Force, there's a website for it. Uh, I web shortened that and they're making those N95 um, masks. So check those guys out. Uh, do what you can for the masks. The Eat Healthy, um, that drive is still going on. Uh, this is a, a website, uh, Bitly St. John's Strong. Um, they're making t-shirts. You can see the t-shirts here. Um, let's see. Boom. Uh, you've got the black ones and the red ones, and those are both in adult and youth sizes. 15 bucks uh, for those shir uh, shirts. Eight bucks goes to the drive. Um, they're up around $12,000. And then as of uh, this morning, it's like an hour ago or so now, um, the Kaimura Candles, uh, Sports Stop, and then Hot Prints and Whimsical Party Gallery. Those are establishments in St. John's. Um, they've all set up pages to um, gain money for this fundraiser. So do what you can. Um, donate if you can. Dad joke of the day. Because because I can. These are my announcements. So what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the janitorial closet? Supplies! One of my favorites. Uh, student pantry is available. Mrs. Diorio mentioned the fact that they have a middle school pantry and then we have a high school pantry as well. So contact uh, Ms. Diorio or Mr. Horak and they can get you some supplies when you need them. And then uh, Eureka and St. John's High School has uh, pickup spots for food Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So tomorrow, uh, 9 30 11 30 or 9 30 to 10 30 at eureka uh, make sure you pick up some food for the weekend they have it you need it go get it sports for the day <clears throat> there's not much going on in the way of sports so why don't we go ahead and have some hamster racing so uh as many of you know uh we've got a random race of some kind that's just goofy and fun and this time it's hamsters so you have blue, yellow, pink, or red. Blue, yellow, pink, or red. And here are your hamsters. <laughs> they are in hamster wheels um, that get placed in the car. So the hamster wheel actually rolls and it makes the car go. So uh, yeah, you get uh, blue, yellow, pink, or red. 
Pick your pony. And we will watch. Maybe we'll watch. My computer is sometimes not cooperative. Shall we try that again? Can you all scream really loud? Yeah! Much better, boys and girls. Okay, so I'm going to read out each hamster. Blue, yellow, pink, or red. My favorite color is blue. So who has blue Michael Schumacher? About three of you. I like the sarcastic commentator. Lots of yellows. My boy, Blue. Right then, are the hamsters ready? Boys and girls, remember, through this race, I want you to shout really loud for your hamster, because they do know their names and they do know their colours, okay? So the louder you shout, the faster you hamster The hamsters hamster don't actually know their colours, she's lying. She's lying. crushing it. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Hmm. You're my boy, Blue. All right. There's your sports for the day. I'm sure there's some reruns of some some stuff. Yesterday was uh, all day Big Ten volleyball on Big Ten Network. That was sweet. Okay, uh, know your states with Finn. It's time for knowing your states with Finn. Yesterday it was a double feature. It was uh, Nevada, which was awesome, and California. It was California. So today our state is over here. While I'm loading it up, think in your brain. What state would that be? All right, Finn, what state is that? Minnesota. Where's Minnesota? Minnesota. 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 Let's watch that again. Minnesota. Where's Minnesota? Minnesota. All right, solid work, my man. Minnesota uh, and California from yesterday. Not nearly as cool. I say, I say he completely and totally knocked it out of the park in his very first one. Alabama. All right, what do we got next? Uh, national testing information. I've pushed this out the last couple of days. Uh, ACT and SAT, those aren't happening. Um, those are happening in June. We do them in June. Uh, contact Miss CNG or ACT.org or SAT.org. Um, check out the high school's webpage for uh, updates and information on colleges and universities and uh, stuff that they're doing to adjust in this weird, odd time. All right, what do we got next? Art, Mrs. Astle, let me know that we have some amazing, I mean, we I know we have some amazing, amazing artists um, but we've got the Art Scholarship uh, Art Alert Show. And these fine artists were entered into this uh, this amazing thing. Um, that is Hannah Dombrowski. She actually won the Mo and Jack Powell Award. Congratulations, Hannah. Nice job. Um, Chara Walters with this nice uh, open mouth vessel there. Uh, Andrea Haslip with a self-portrait. Audrey Simmons with a, a really nice sculpture there. Claire Peterson with a self-portrait. That really does look like you. It's awesome. Uh, both you and uh, Andrea as well. Uh, Georgia Fromson with this awesome monkey thing. That looks sweet. And then this uh, uh, Mela Grandy. That dog is awesome. Like, I want to print that off and, like, put it on my wall. Amazing job, peoples. Uh, good job. 
Um, yesterday, I pushed out some announcements, uh, a presser from Governor Whitner, uh, Whitmer, and uh, hook, line, and sinker. I apparently got a bunch of people because yesterday was April first. It's April Fools. So I pushed out the fact that she had some healthy initiative kind of thing. Uh, no, it's not all nine grain wheat bread. And no, it's not a no sugar thing. Uh, the pickleball, which would be awesome, uh, is not officially a, a, a sport in the fall. And Mrs. Truett, in fact, is not having twins. Apparently, there were some people that were really, really upset uh, yesterday, I thought, you know, at the end of the announcements, I'll just go ahead and let them know. But then I thought, you know what, I'll let it simmer. Uh, and, and that, that grabbed a couple of people. So, uh, yeah, April Fool's. <laughs> Special guest time. We have, uh, a celeb spot, um, and today we have a former teacher. Red Wings, this is Brad Vesco. I'm a Who's proud student? 2000 St. John's High School graduate, and I'm currently a teacher and the boys varsity basketball coach at Lake City High School in northern Michigan, home of the Trojans. I just want to send you guys a message during these tough times we're all enduring with the coronavirus. I just wanted to encourage you to stay positive and stay focused on your goals. One thing I know about Red Wings is that we are tough, and these are definitely tough times, but tough times don't last. Tough people do. Uh, stay focused on your goals and your aspirations, and don't let this small obstacle stop you from accomplishing whatever you want in life, whatever that may be. Um, athletes, I know this is a very tough time for you um, with seasons being suspended or not being able to start at all. Try to get outside and work on your skills when you can. Stay sharp. Um, reach out to your teammates and coaches for support, um, whether that be with a, a, you know, a phone call, a text message, a FaceTime call. Uh, reach out to them on social media. Stay connected, though, and be there for each other because that is really what being part of a team is all about. Um, you know, we're going to get through this together as a nation, as Michiganders, as Red Wings. Um, so stay positive, stay strong, stay safe, and stay healthy. Everyone take care and go Red Wings. Awesome message. That's uh, Brad Besco. Mr. Besco is a PE teacher. That's his son. He's a teacher up in northern Michigan. Awesome message. Thank you very much, Mr. Brad Besco. Uh, shenanigans and activities around town. Mrs. Barrett and the yearbook, as I've mentioned multiple times, they want to know what you're uh, what you're doing, what your uh, what what activities you're you're thinking about doing. Uh, what is it that you're doing? Uh, let her know. Let me know. Uh, we'll get you in the uh, in the announcements. Um, the Kramers apparently. Let me load this up. Uh, the Kramers have taken to squirrel watching. It's apparently not a bird feeder, it's a squirrel feeder. That's one agile squirrel. Nice work, squirrel. Uh, but they're watching, they're watching some squirrels. Uh, what else we got? Mr. Lund, Yesterday, I highlighted some Indie Labs. If you haven't checked that out, look up uh, on YouTube, look up Indie Labs. He's got 34 different science labs that you can do in your house. Um, super easy. You don't have to go out and get anything. It's stuff you already have in your house. Um, but today, Mr. Lund's going to talk to you a little bit about frogs. Hey, students, parents, and the like. I hope this video finds you and your loved ones doing well, and I hope that you are doing what you can to come together and protect your community. I'd say stay home and stay safe, as that's the hashtag trending, and it's a good one. But I hope the message it conveys is to stay home to help keep everyone safe. But that doesn't mean you can't go outside, of course, and this time of the year, there's something that you could do tonight from your window or backyard. On March 26th, I noticed something starting in the evening and increasing as it became night, the spring peepers. Hearing the spring peepers is one of the signs that spring has truly begun. The spring peepers, one of the earliest frogs to wake up in Michigan, its call can be heard from up to two and a half miles away. And during this lower this. traffic period of time we're experiencing, that means you have a very good chance of hearing them even in the city of St. John's. Again, starting at the evening time and increasing as night goes on. Of course, if you want to try to hear them, you need to know what they sound like, right? Well, it turns out last year I made a video all about them. If you type into YouTube, spring peeper lung, well, then the video will come up. 
and you'll get to see my quest to try to get some good camera footage of them. If you've got the time, it'll show you my adventure, teach you some things about it, show you some excellent visual and audio examples of them, and uh, dare I say it, there's some humorous parts along the way. And then tonight, you can see if you can try to hear them somewhere around your St. John's area. It's a high likelihood. I've heard them each night since March 26th, so check out the video, and then if you feel so inclined, from your window or backyard, listen for them, see if you can hear them too. Nala, the bearded dragon, and I will be listening for them as well. Stay safe, stay sanitary, go Red Wings. All right. Thank you, Mr. Lund. And I would highly recommend, I watched this yesterday, his full adventure um, is listed, as he said, look it up on YouTube. Uh, it's supposed to be nice next couple of days, as you can see over here with the, the whitewash in the background. There's some sun out today. So this evening, uh, listen out for those spring peepers. Thank you, Mr. Lund. <clears throat> and then uh, Mrs. Linquist up at the high school, um, she put forth a drawer challenge. You got some time on your hands. Things need to be done around the house. Try and take a drawer of some kind, you know those drawers, the junk drawers, uh, and organize them. Try one a day. Um, this is Mrs. Thomas. She went through and then went some uh, some little uh, ties, twist ties around some cords. And Mrs. Uh, Prohaska, she organized a couple of drawers here. So uh, try that out. See if you can organize some drawers. Birthdays today. We have uh, high school and middle school birthdays. Starting today, we've got Carly Trumbull and Marina Montiel, uh, Ashton Buzzard, Ethan Buzzard, uh, and Carter Ney. Happy birthday to all of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, next up, another celeb spot. This is from one of my former students, one of my favorites. This is Lieutenant Commander Nick Jackson. He's in the Navy. He's an amazing dude. And he's got some words for you. Love this guy. Hey Red Wings, my name is Lieutenant Commander Nick Jackson, and I uh, appreciate you spending a couple minutes with me during your morning announcements. It's a real honor. I'm coming to you live from the flight deck of USS Ronald Reagan, one of America's 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. That is awesome. We're currently pier side at our home port of Yokosuka, Japan, which is about 25 miles south of Tokyo. I was extremely lucky to be born and raised in mid-Michigan. I attended St. John's Public Schools for my entire career, starting at East Hall Elementary School, then the middle school, and St. John's High School, where I graduated in 2005. I then matriculated to the United States Naval Academy, graduated in 2009, and spent more than a decade as a anti-submarine helicopter pilot in the Navy. Helicopter pilot. I know that times are challenging right now, uh, but a word that comes to mind is perseverance. Um, Hey seniors, I realize that your graduation plans may be affected or maybe proms affected or you spring athletes, those competitions are, are canceled. And that is a really tough thing to, to have to endure. However, the French author Victor Hugo once said that, that perseverance is what leads to triumph, okay? And so even though things are challenging, I want you to take a moment every day uh, when you're digitally speaking with your friends and family or um, you know even by yourself and just think about how the challenges right now are actually preparing you for the future. It may be very hard to, to appreciate that, but you're becoming a stronger person and you're learning lessons that are going to pay dividends down the line, whether it's when you're applying for a job or, or maybe applying to college or, you know, when something that would have been hard comes up, maybe it won't seem as hard as these times right now. There's a crew of about 3,000 sailors that are stationed at Ronald Reagan right now, and I'll be honest with you, we're dealing with our own challenges. But we're showing up every single day and coming up with innovative solutions that are going to help get us to sea as quickly as possible. And I know that we're going to be a better Navy and a better ship for that. Uh, this may not be as exciting or eloquent as you know Coach Crean's message or Kyle Aaron's, which is really, really neat. Uh, but it's what's getting me through the day right now. So with that being said, I hope you're being safe. I hope that you're making yourself better every single day and really thinking about the long game and the way in which you're going to be better off down the line. Yeah, have a great day. Go Red Wings. Go Navy. Beat Army. Uh, we'll see you on the other side. That is just awesome. Just completely amazing. Thank you for for your uh, for your service, Lieutenant Commander Nick Jackson. Amazing human. That's just awesome. 
Uh, menus for today. We got a couple of uh, people input. And Mrs. Kramer going with the healthy option, going with the chicken Caesar salad. Nice. And then the cooks. Look at this pizza. That is amazing. It looks like we got some mushrooms and some ham and some pepperoni. That, that, that is an amazing pizza. And then I haven't checked it out, um, but they also, uh, whoops, they also mentioned the fact that they made some, uh, some cookie dough balls, like ready to eat cookie dough balls. There's the recipe over there in case you're interested. We're all going to come out of this like 70 pounds heavier, but those look amazing as well. So uh, check that out. Uh, if you're bored, let us know. Let Mrs. Uh, uh, Mrs. Barrett know. Let us know. Um, TikToking. I got to tell you what. Uh, hilarious. Hilarious TikToks. Check this out. What does a train sound like? Choo -choo. Yeah, okay, that's accurate. What does a chicken sound like? Cockle doodle doo. You sure? Yep. Carkle doodle. Yep. What do I sound like? An idiot. Hey! <laughs> what does a train sound like? Choo -choo. That's hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh what's up with that? Mrs. Kudwa. Uh she submitted goats. I'm sure many of you have seen this. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Samuel L. Jackson! All right. Uh, goats. Check this out. Apparently this will make Mrs. Uh, Roxanne Kudwa laugh. But these are goats. They're they're cyanotic goats. Apparently, it's a it's a genetic thing. And boom! Sorry, <laughs> it's okay, dude. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Mm. <laughs> Fainting goats. <laughs> Then they pop back up. <laughs> it's like uh, Chumbawamba. They get knocked down and they get up again. All right. Yeah. Uh, activities for today. Uh, there's a remind group I sent out. There's a bunch of people DJing yesterday, a bunch of concerts going on. I will continue to push stuff out. Uh, feel free to, uh, subscribe to the remind up there. Uh, the, uh, SJ stay home, go to the remind app and check that out. Um, draw, do some drawing. My artistic skills are horrible. Marlene Huber's, however, amazing. Check that out. My wipes. Love it. Good job, Marlene. Um, there is bingo tonight. It's DJ bingo. Um, it's pretty awesome. We usually play it on Friday nights, um, downtown, but obviously that's not happening. So they're going online, uh, eight o'clock tonight, go to Facebook, um, facebook.com slash DJ bingo. And what they do is they give you a digital board and on it are songs and artists, and then they play. Uh, about 40 seconds of that song and artist, and then you cross it off the board. And then when you get bingo, uh, it's it's online, it's virtual. You yell bingo, and you win. I'm not exactly sure what you win. Um, pride, um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, maybe something else, I'm not sure. But it's really, really fun. Check it out. Trivia time today. <clears throat> it's a Kahoot once again. I like the Kahoots. And uh, shout out to the previous winners. Third place, John Deliso. He's been playing a couple of days. The Deliso family, I saw you guys out playing tennis the other day when I drove by to pick up something from my classroom. Good job getting outside. Terrence McKenna and for uh, second place. And then in first. Could it be Satan? Uh, I had to. Uh, Satan in first. So 
I'm not sure who Satan it I, I know who Satan is, but if if you're Satan and you want to be in the drawing for stuff, let me know who you are. Uh Logan Patterson in fourth place. And then we had Ricky Bobby yesterday. So of course, rounding out the top five today, Cal Naughton Jr. Good job. Uh today's trivia, Kahoot.it. Go to Kahoot. Dot it and enter the code 0294498 and uh, try the trivia contest today. We had about 30 people yesterday. That's uh, that's excellent. I'm hoping for lots more. Um, there are prizes for you to win. So go to that trivia thing down there and check it out. And finally, thank you very much to Lieutenant Commander Nick Jackson. That was an amazing speech. I love you, man. Um, Mrs. Astle, thank you for pointing out all of the artistic abilities that our students have. Ms. Diorio, thanks for getting the middle school on board. Mrs. Stevens and the pets, the Kramers with their squirrel watching. Mrs. Jure, thank you so much for printing all of those masks. Coach Wade and Josh as well. Mask printing, awesome job. Cooks, Mr. Lund with the peepers. Finn and the Truitts, always loving the states with Finn. Uh, Marlene Huber, that is an amazing drawing that you had. And Mrs. Linquist with her drawer challenge. Thank you very much. And for everybody, stay safe. Be good. Hang in there. We can do this. Red Wing Strong, baby. That's all, folks.